Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Black Tonio. Mr. Morningstar himself back with another video today. Um you know. Got to make sure I keep putting out um some relevant content when I feel like um, you know, I have something relevant or something important or something uh that people can learn from. Um you know, some days I get extra lazy. Some weeks I don't put out work at all. <laughs> but, you know, it's a muscle that um, that you flex. Again, before I even started um, doing these videos or before I even uploaded my very first video on to YouTube um, five years ago, it was like, you know, people, it's kind of like commonplace now. People are able to record things and put them up on social media. Some people are still you know fearful of you know they can't talk into a camera they feel like they're talking to themselves and things like that so you know um you know there's different people prefer different things some people just like to be on facebook all day some people um you know they're on youtube uh you know the whole youtube studio and um you know they have more of that digital content creator life um but yeah, um, so I'm detoxing, of course, it's the end of the month, um, you know, uh, you want to take those times out to um, just recalibrate yourself, recalibrate everything. I had to get me like a big gallon of, um, a big gallon of uh, water, um, cut open some, um, some lemons and, and cucumbers and I had them sitting in the water for like two three hours now i've been noticing my face um you know i've always been a, a nice smooth face handsome young man you know that that smooth creamy chocolate but um of course i have a very extensive medical history um about two years ago i took uh you know one of these drugs and medications that you know that's supposed to save my life um I was I was given a medication by a doctor about two years ago and it caused a severe allergic reaction. I probably could have died. It caused a severe re allergic reaction on my head, just my head alone. Not even not not nowhere else on my body. Um, my head, my face, my scalp uh, literally looked like somebody peeled the flesh off of my face. You ever seen an ant pile? <laughs> It's literally like how like like Freddy Krueger. I pretty much looked like Freddy Krueger for a month. Um, I'm surprised my face healed this much. I mean, I can't if I were to upload a picture of my face. My God, I wouldn't even look like the same person. Um, I looked like um, what's his name, Quagmire. I looked like Quagmire on uh, on Family Guy, except with Freddy Krueger skin all over my face. <laughs> Um, so, you know, I do try to do different things. And before that, I used to always keep my face very clean. I used to use face moisturizers, night, uh, morning moisturizers, nighttime moisturizers. Um, I would wash my face, um, with hot water, keep my pores open. I would rub, you know, not, uh, lemons and things on my face. Let it sit, wash. Um, you know, you close your pores up with cold water. So, I know how to take care of myself. I know how to take care of my skin. Um, but yeah, that was the first and only allergic reaction I ever had in my entire life. Um, I'm going to be taking any more antibiotics. It's going to be straight holistic medicines from this uh, point on out. Um, and that was my last time in the hospital. Yeah. Um, but... Today, I kind of wanted to, uh, on this video, talk about, um, you know, the gender war, the big divide again by, uh, between man and woman. Um, we have, we have, we have, um, you know, we have MGTOW. Uh, if you're not familiar with MGTOW, it's, you know, a, a sect of men that's decided they want to go their own way. That's what MGTOW stands for, men going their own way. Um, they basically feel like uh, they've been wasting their time with uh, women, no matter how hard they try. You know, they try to deal with women in um, 
and different types of ways they try to use their toolbox and come at women different types of ways to try to have success successful relationships but um, you know there's always an ebb and flow to these different types of things there's always a, a power struggle no one is actually playing a role that they're playing so um, you know most 99.9% of relationships have problems I'm gonna say it again 99.9% .9 of relationships have problems I don't care uh, how many um, votes have been taken that's just the amount of votes that doesn't count how many people didn't vote <laughs> so the people giving out all these numbers talking about oh 80 percent of relationships are failing no 99 percent of relationships are failing it's just the other 20 percent haven't decided to put you in their business yet <laughs> um but yeah we have MGTOW uh these men have um you know, they, they, they have thought up different principles and ways to um, take things forward in regards to men culture. Um, you know, we always had guy codes and things like that. Um, uh, a married man will never have secrets because his wife will tell everything. <laughs> um, so, you know, men decided to take things their own way. You know, men are able to build when they're able, when they're not distracted by women. And then on that other side of the strap of the of the um, of the scale, we have um, the level uppers. Um, you know, I don't want to call them gold diggers. You know, we 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 called them gold diggers in the '90s, and we called men scrubs. And <laughs> labels and titles, man. Stop with the name calling, bro. That's all you doing. Y'all y'all sitting across from the table from each other. And again, and even that, that's not how you go on a date with someone you don't sit across from them when you're on a battlefield you're standing across from your adversary when you're on a basketball court you're playing you're, you're playing on different sides of the court you don't take a woman out or you don't take a man out for lunch or dinner and sit across from them like they're your enemy like you're about to go to war with them you sit next to each other <laughs> that's why we have a love sofa have you ever seen a love sofa where two people sit across from each other no they sit next to each other God. Do I gotta take you guys back to charm school? Like, really? But um, we have um, we have the level uppers. Um, you know, some people don't know what MGTOW is. Some people don't know what level uppers are. So, uh, just to kind of explain what level uppers are, level uppers are women that think uh, or believe or feel that they uh, are entitled to um, men's resources and benefits. They feel that women run the world you know we can't argue with with some of those uh you know those thoughts and principles some of them we can't argue with i mean in order to be treated like a woman or in order to be to be treated um in a way that you want to be treated you have to act in a way or present yourself in a way that's to be admired you know um if everyone has access to you then what's the point of having access to you um and that just goes with certain jobs, certain people, certain lifestyles. You know, some people have to put themselves out in the open. Some people don't really have to put themselves out in the open. But in regards to level uppers, these are women that feel that all they have to do is put on a tight dress. They can use all the witchery and sorcery and and and, and hiding techniques uh, like makeup and hair weaves and things like that to you know hide the rolls under their gut, you know hide the pimples on their face. You see me and man, I can't hide this. This is this is us all day, you know. Men are simple. Women come with the trickery and the witchcraft, and you know, they look one way, and then you, you turn around or you turn the lights on or turn the lights off, and they're a completely different creature. <laughs> uh, the original woman has been gone from this planet a long time ago. We are left with uh, the unstable version of the female population. Um, you know, it is what it is. We we still here. And we have to work with what we have to work with. Um, hopefully I'm not getting too deep and getting too weird. Again, it's, it's very basic. You know, it's just males becoming men and females becoming women. Um, step into your rightful power and um, oh, and then things can become uh, easier. Um, so, it, it, it's funny. It's, it's weird. You know, we... You know, time doesn't stop. Um, 
time is fluid, you know, it keeps going. Um, people, uh, you know, they, it's so weird, you know, you just have to go through life with an open mind and not let pe other people's uh, emotions or thought patterns um, dictate the type of person that you want to be or how you want to um, experience your life. If you are a if you are a 70 year old man and you want to date a 30 year old woman between those two people who's to decide that they can't do that these are two grown ass adults right um you know of course the outside world is going to have its opinions there's uh history um you know older folks um you know older men uh, marrying younger women even me growing up in middle school, I couldn't date chicks my age, you know. I wanted to lose my virginity to another virgin, but all these little hot ass 13, 14, sometimes 12 year old girls is out sleeping with 17, 21 year old, 30 year old men. Now that's act like we never heard that before. All these people, they think they grown. You know, you hear you know you hear really women say it a lot too. You know, that's why they get into competitions with their moms by the time they start going through puberty at 13, 14, 15 years old. Talking about, I'm grown. You grown until you have to do grown woman things. Uh, and the same thing with, with men as well. I mean, in order to get what you want or to attain the things that you want, you have to work for it, bro. <laughs> you have to work for it, bro. A pretty woman... And riches is not going to fall into your lap. First of all, a, a woman's not going to come up to you. You have to walk up to the woman and express interest. Money's not going to fall out of the sky. You have to go out and market yourself. <laughs> um, you know, love and money, the two most important things in the world. Um, but yeah, I mean... People should be able to do what they want. People should be able to have an open mind. I mean, if a woman wants to go after a man for all for just his money, she just she have to she has to realize what type of a relationship that's going to be, and she has to realize how that man is going to look at her. Again, me as a man, I'm, I, I seek knowledge. Once I know something, I know how to act. So once I know what type of person you are, I know what type of category I want to put you in. So if you're just gonna be a lady of the night, then I only need to call you at night. Then <laughs> you don't you don't need to call me during the day. I don't need to call you during the day. We have an understanding that yeah, I may I may be a 70 year old man and this and that and you get my point. But it doesn't even have to be that. You know, some things are natural. Sometimes a 30 year old woman is attracted to a 50 year old man, or an 18 year old woman is attracted to a 45 year old man so don't let people tell you no no that they that and that's the thing people tell you that you can't do something no hold the mirror up to them and tell them don't let people curse you or or tell you that you can't do something that's a curse you can't do something that's usually people um lack of confidence when they feel like they can't do something or they feel like that's impossible that's why you have to show people what's possible. That's why you have to get out and do things like put up 200 videos on YouTube even though no one's watching them. <laughs> One day that karma is going to come back to you. One day um, you're going to be able to look back on, you know, the type of things that you have done, the type of things that you have accomplished, and you'll be able to look at them. I just got off Facebook and, you know, again, women not listening. We, we have this girl... Um, you know, she's twerking online and then we have, um, we have some brothers telling her, why are you, why are you doing that? You don't have to, you don't have to do that. And then of course she, she blasts back at all the dudes just being outrageous and spouting profanity. F you niggas. I do what I want to do and I shake this and that and that and this. And it's like, yeah, that's going to work for about another five years because you're not project, you're not projecting you're 22 year old you're 20 you're 22 years old 
and you think you're going to have this body forever. Not even with nat natural things. You never know what can happen when you walk when you walk outside of your house tomorrow. You're shaking your ass. But you might walk walk outside of your house tomorrow and get bitten and bitten your ass by a dog. But you think you're gonna be pretty forever. You think your ass gonna get you by forever. Yeah, you might be able to get dudes that, that wants to sleep with you, and that's it. Not put a roof over your head. Not take care of you. Not give you a, not give you children. Not put hundreds of thousands into your bank account we, we do this all the time <laughs> there's nothing for a guy there's not there's nothing for, or even a chick it's nothing for a chick to eye rape a dude it happens to me all the time <laughs> it is so funny because it's like women, women you can't say hi to a woman to try to or try to speak to a woman or 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 you know they they just act weird sometimes i don't know not, not not all women are like that like i even get surprised myself when i have women hold doors open for me or i have women speak to me first and say hello or how are you doing and things like that i'm genuinely surprised this is like i didn't said 100 highs today and i got 99 attitude looks like again i i could be trying to tell you it's a gunman around the corner trying to shoot up the place but you don't want to listen to me or give me the time of day you think i'm trying to holler at you so you take your ass around the corner and get shot up then so you know you deal with people the way you have to deal with people um and you know you get what you can manage i mean if you can juggle five women as a man um What's the harm in that? If they're all happy, you know, Floyd Mayweather, one of the greatest boxers in history, 50 and 0, um, half a billion, half a billionaire. He has, what, six, seven wives. And he's like, what y'all got to complain about? What you complaining about? You got everything you could possibly want. He's not old. He's not 70 years old. He's 40. Still relatively, 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 can't even say it. He's still young. So, what's the problem? Everybody getting what they want. Um, you know, I don't know how I feel about polygyny. I know it has its plus and its minuses. Just like certain people feel certain ways about marijuana. And it has its pluses and, it, and its minuses. Um, but no, people just need to be logical. I mean, again, it's, it's all based on... It doesn't have to be so complicated. Men are more comfortable in a more confident when they have resources, when they have money, regardless of what age they are, because that's what women care about. Women are more comfortable and more confident when they have their looks. Um, you know, women are shallow. They like money, too. But really, their looks, because really looks, if people like you, you can get money. That's not the that's not the thing. So women should value their looks and things like that. Uh, they spend a lot of money on, on cosmetics. Now, the thing about looks, though is that you know just like money it comes and goes but if you take care of yourself just like you if you take care of your health you don't have to be an old busted down old person at 20 years uh, uh, at 40 years old you shouldn't be having all these strokes and heart attacks and, and diabetes and all these problems in your 40s and 50s this is still relatively rel god i can't say this word for some reason <laughs> i'm gonna retire that word for today these are still somewhat um, young ages. You know, you're young to your 60, and even that's still a young age because you've worked your entire life. You've worked to your 65, which is retirement age. So you're just touching upon the precedence of middle age. From 60 to 80, or from 60 to 90, that is middle age. You're barely moving around. You're barely walking or you're, you're, you're barely doing anything. You shouldn't really be working. You should be enjoying life, enjoying the fruits of your labor. And then old age starts to hit at 100 years old. We're meant to live to 120 years old, but all people do is sit around and eat hot chips and Cheetos all day long. Hot fries and French fries and, and drink alcohol. And this country is so... This country is so fat. Let's just put it that way. I'm not going to try to find a scientific word to make y'all feel better. Y'all a bunch of fat people. And, you know, that runs hand in hand with corona as well. You know, fat people usually get sick because their body is always trying to fight off the fat. <laughs> um, 
you know so so while the government's out trying to give you medications and tell telling you try to fight, telling you to um trying to fight corona and trying to give you a vaccine they're not giving you a workout regimen but back to my point in regards to uh level uppers MGTOW, um and this whole thing that i'm trying to explain you know it's just relationships and it's just people it's just people and it's just relationships we can have a 51 year old guy date a 26 year old he has twice her her life experience that's what women want right that's the whole reason why these why these girls in middle school are having sex with men that that that's like post graduation college age right because these men are more experienced these men had the resources and these men already you know experienced life and on the other side of that men like women with low body counts i don't care how good you look or how smart you are or how much money you think you have what's your body count you mean you just you can still be 50 years old and be the most beautiful woman in the world we how many how many penises have you had in you <laughs> How many kids have you had? See, these are the thoughts that I have. How many men have been inside you? And that's why older men like younger women. You can mold them. They have they have lower body counts. They you are able to you know have fun and things like that. You know why do why do older women date younger men? They trying to get on that baloney pony. They trying to get on that Italian stallion. They trying to get on that. That ace of wands, that lightning rod. You're doing the same thing. You're just trying to get with this young man. <laughs> and, and, and ride it like a Ford. And that's the same thing with men. And men are not that shallow. We're not as sex crazy as women are. They try to flip it on the head and try to make it seem like men are just these sex things. No, men, at some point, man, I didn't had enough sex, bro. I'm not trying to go all night. I just want to have fun. Older men just want to have fun. You know, they already live their life. And they just want to experience life in a different way. So that's all I wanted to talk to you guys about today. In regards to um, MGTOW and level uppers. They're just different, um, just different thought patterns and different. So more male. Oh. TD Bank. TD Bank trying to send me some business. Y'all see this? Soon as soon as you open up a business, they're gonna try, they try to send you some, some credit cards. <laughs> they try to send all this stuff to you, man. Again, it's it's not that hard to um to bust a move. But yeah, this video again is <laughs> it's becoming a habit now. I can't even I can't even do a video under 20 minutes now. That's so friggin' crazy. I can't, I can't, so I can't even upload these videos to YouTube anymore, at least not with this phone. Because anytime I try to upload videos with this phone that's over five minutes long, it always malfunctions out my Facebook app. Um, so a lot of these videos, you're going to have to um, check out on my, youth, uh, my, uh, on my YouTube channel. Um, but I'll be doing more editing and, and marketing and things like that to uh, funnel more of your views to the channel, so that you kind of know that I put out a lot of um, a lot more uh, activity. Um, just you know, I know with me sometimes I'll watch creators and they sometimes they run out of content that I can watch. So you know, point you to my YouTube page, Black Tonio views my social media pages under the same at black tonio views on um instagram and twitter um check out some of my writing uh, on my black tonio views facebook page try to be a little bit more professional on my 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 family page or my private page which is private <laughs> I go a, I got I go a little bit more hard on that one, you know. Um 
yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the rant in regards to another love and relationships uh, conversation, you know. Um, gold diggers, scrubs, and what do they call them now in 2021? They call them, uh, oh, what do they call them? They call them level uppers and uh, <laughs> MGTOW. Because <laughs> that's what they literally say about MGTOW. We don't want your resources. You don't have nothing anyways. They get mad when you don't want to spend money on them. They call you gay and all that type of stuff. You know, name calling. You know, women, women were, the, were the cultivators of language. So when men don't do what they want them to do, when men don't do what they want, they start calling them names and things like that. Life is weird. Life is strange. Life is funny like that. Um, but yeah, man, there's a new group of high school girls coming out of high school or college every year, whether they're 18 or 22. Um, so men, we really don't have a care in the world, to be honest with you. It's you women that need to learn how to shut your mouth, learn how to work in your feminine power. Um, and men too If you're not able to Lead women Shut your mouth Like It's a pecking order Everybody should know how to play their role If everyone played their role The way they're supposed to be playing their role We wouldn't have so many complications um, And that's about it So I'm about to head back into the His house Put my phone on the charger Waiting on these Amazon packages so that I can start setting some things up in my room. Um, be safe. Love you folks. Have a good one.